big person in the country. What do you feel like you guys are out of this way? And do you feel like you can show how much attention you guys have by, you know, the, the way you come out the first three games? Yeah, I mean, I feel like offensively we've gotten better every game. Um, I feel like in the first half we played really well. Um, I think we were really happy with how we came out in the first half. And, I mean, I feel like we're still going to get keep getting better. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting to see where we're at and how we're going to keep progressing. Have you ever played in a for in a half of football that was that dominant? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Yeah, that was definitely probably first for me. Did you know that touchdown was coming to you on the Um, I didn't. It was kind of like a tempo play. So, but once he called it, I was like, I might be able to. And it's funny, I got in on the exact same play uh, when we played Stanford last year. It was kind of like in the similar similar. I think it was a little farther away, like four or five yards away, but it was, it was the same play, same results. So that was pretty cool. What well, it means to the score? I mean. It, it, it means a lot, you know, it's the first one of the year, but I mean, at the end of the day, the biggest thing is to get the win, and that's what I'm most excited about. What's it, what's it like to be in a game like this? Is it weird? Uh, it's a lot, you know, it is definitely weird when you go up to halftime and they're just telling you you're, you're done, you know, you're, you're, you're already getting pulled. So it is a little bit weird because um, I felt like, I mean, I guess we had a lot of momentum going into uh, the second half, so it was kind of weird to sit um, and kind of watch for that long, so that was definitely new to me. But, I mean, it's a, the first half was a lot of fun, and I, 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 th I think you could kind of see that, not even on offense, but just all three sides of the ball, uh, offense, defense, and special teams, around a lot of fun. What was the locker room like at the half? Um, kind of how it always is. Um, that was one of the things that Coach Riley wanted to emphasize. Uh, you know, no matter what the result is in the first half, we always want to be very vocal uh, during halftime and make sure that, it, you know, regardless of the uh, result of the first half, that we're treating it the same. So. Um, it wasn't anything different than it was uh, last week regardless of the score, but it's always, you know, the leaders and the uh, older guys in the team always, you know, encouraging and, um, and kind of just going out there and uh, Coach Riley was saying that we need to, you know, continue to do. We had a good first half. That doesn't matter. We have to go out, go out there and do the same stuff. It seemed like you guys were going really horizontal early on. How important is stretching a defense, especially what you saw from the Stanford team? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's always important regardless of the team, you know, kind of keep them on their toes so I think that was probably a point of emphasis going into this week um, you know we, we did that quite a, quite a bit so um, I'm not sure if that was like a game plan just specifically for Stanford or to kind of just see what, what uh, that would make them do so what, what have you seen from Kale of these three um, games it feels like he's kind of <laughs> not really trying but very very you know, while you know still putting up um, you know crazy plays and all yeah. those yeah I mean I feel like that's just kind of his game like it may not look like he's you know, going crazy, but he's still like out there doing plays that no one else in the country can do. So, um, you know, he, he's a he's a really good teammate and a really good person. So, it's cool to see him go out there and do that week in and week out. Last year, there was kind of a lot of talk about the familiarity that he had with Lincoln coming in. How do you feel like that has seeped into or kind of transferred over to the team this year in year two? Yeah, I think not only for him, but I think everyone's just a lot more familiar with the system. We got a lot of returning guys, especially on offense and up front. So. I think that, that that's been very evident in where we are in uh, game three now than we were last year, two different places. So I think everyone's a lot more familiar with the system and you can kind of see that. What does it do for you guys when he runs over a guy going into the end zone when he's 30 yards downfield? Yeah, no, that, to throw that, that was pretty cool. You know, not a, not a whole lot of quarterbacks are, are doing that. You don't, you don't see that. So I was actually blocking on that play and I kind of had my back to it and I turned around and I just seen him stood up with two guys and then just powered into it. And that got, that got me pretty fired up. So it was, it was cool to see. What does it say about kind of the offense? Like eight different guys with touchdowns just kind of come coming from everywhere in this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's always kind of like that. You know, if you look at like the catches, or it's, it's always really spread out. We have a really, a lot of really talented guys in a lot of rooms. So whether that's outside, inside receivers or tight ends, you know, <clears throat> it's always really spread out. We have a lot of talent. And, it's cool to see everyone being able to show yourself. What kind of role do you take on when you know you're not going to play in the second half and there's a lot of younger guys or newer guys in the system coming in? Yeah, um, I think one of the things that Coach Riley said at halftime that kind of grabbed my attention is like, you should be exhausted by the end of the game regardless of how many snaps you play if it's zero or if it's 100. So I was really big on you know being able to encourage the guys that were starting to get um, snaps that they might not get, um, whether that was any position. So I, I was really trying to be uh, a, like a big cheerleader on the sideline and, you know, talk through different plays with certain people. So. What, what's it like watching Zechariah out there and what did you see in spring and fall that kind of, you know, hinted at this? Yeah, I mean, I knew uh, 
right right when he got on campus like yeah I could just tell like in like summer workouts or whatever winter workouts whenever whenever he got here on our like speed drills you could just tell he had like a, a switch that he was different from other people so I wasn't I mean I was surprised but I wasn't like shocked to see what he was doing when we were in spring and I mean I feel like he's showing every the whole world now what he can do so I'm not, I'm not too surprised because I knew like right when he got here he was different. See one more? Over the last two weeks how much have you guys fed off of the defenses done when you guys are on the sideline? Oh yeah, I mean that's everything. I mean, we try to emphasize that if you're not in on the game and if you didn't just come out, so you need like rest. That everyone needs to be very involved on the sideline with the game. So I think that's very important to our team, and I think our offense does a good job of when the defense is on like a big third down or goal line stand or something like that. We all try to be very like into it. Thank you, Lake. Thank y'all.